Right, what is going on folks, you know who this is, this is your Uncle Yankee, the real deal messiah here with you, I'm back here for another video, and it is, yes, still Prediction Friday here, as we are going to be predicting the Sunday night football game on NBC and on Peacock, it is the Dallas Cowboys, they're going to be traveling to Pittsburgh, Heinz Field, against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and looking at the spread here, uh, Pittsburgh's a favorite by a point and a half. And that makes Dallas into the underdogs. But um, this is going to be a tough matchup here. And don't get me wrong. I think this is going to be a good game. Because Pittsburgh's got um, a great defense. And I don't think that the defense is going to do enough to win. And when you have these spreads that is a point and a half, you know that this is going to be a close game. And I got the Cowboys winning this game. And the reason why I got the Cowboys winning this game, um, Dallas, they have a very tough matchup on the offensive side of the ball. And you know that this is a good offensive team. They just have not shown it. And it's why I've been critical on the Cowboys' offense. I mean, you look at Dak Prescott. Uh, he's almost thrown for 1,100 yards this year. And that is the third most in the NFL going into week five. He's got six touchdown passes. He's tied for uh, fifth most in the NFL. Uh, his... Uh, 96 completions are the second most. And you know that they pass heavy. Because their running backs are freaking trash as fuck. You know, Ezekiel Elliott's a fucking trash. Why are you not putting Dalvin Cook in this game? You signed Dalvin Cook. But he's on the practice squad. I, I don't get it. And... You also got considered, too, that that Prescott's got C.D. Lamb and he's got Jake Ferguson. And when you look at Pittsburgh, they're not rushing the quarterback as well as they have in the past. Pittsburgh has 11 sacks this season. And, of course, you know, you got uh, T.J. Watt. T.J. Watt leads the Steelers with three sacks. So that offensive line, they're gonna they're gonna have to contain T.J. Watt. But the other linemen that Pittsburgh have, that's not gonna be a problem. As long as Dak Prescott can get rid of the ball quickly, Dallas gonna have a good game. And on the defensive side of the ball, you know, they should be able to stop the, the run. I know Pittsburgh's got Najee Harris. Najee Harris hasn't even surpassed 70 rushing yards this season. He's averaged four yards per carry in just one of his four games. And if you look at his stats this season... He's only rushed 3.4 yards per carry. And stopping the run. That is going to be a huge part of this game for the Dallas Cowboys. Whoever they put in quarterback. Justin Fields. Russell Wilson. They're not going to win this game with their arms. No, 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 no. So, if Dallas can shut down Najee Harris, they're going to win this game. So, that's pretty much what I got to say about this. Um, let me all know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Until then, I'm out, guys. Peace. And hopefully the Dallas Cowboys win on Sunday.